One of the things that we've tried to do is shift part of our focus as an institution to what we call sustainable investing. And you don't need many more facts than this one, that the population in 1950 on this planet was 2.5 billion, it's currently over 7 billion, and in 2050 it's going to be projected to be nearly 10 billion. So you got a lot of hungry, consumer-oriented people out there that we didn't have 50 years ago. And our resources are the thing that is going to sustain us and finding renewable resources, managing our resources intelligently and ensuring that this population growth and all the new classes coming through are properly given the opportunities to have the kind of lifestyle that the rest of us have enjoyed is part of what banks can play a role in. So we have, for the last couple of years, under the leadership of Audrey Choi here in the front row, has done just a spectacular job for us, uh, really made a focus on trying to provide a series of sustainability, so-called sustainability initiatives for investors and issuers and communities, and have included um, intermediating $40 billion of clean technology financings uh, since 2006. Uh, we've done 1,175 long-term public financings, totaling $145 billion. These things can't be done by community banks. And that's not to say community banks don't do a great job. They do do a great job for their communities. We do a great job for sovereigns, for major corporations, and for individuals investing around the world. You need both for the system to work effectively. Morgan Stanley has made community development loans and investments totaling nearly $8 billion. It's created 38,000 affordable housing units and 47,000 construction jobs through that. That's a great thing. We're proud of that. But it's also a necessary thing for our economy to, to be working the way it needs to work. So this morning, I want to announce another initiative building off of that with the creation of the Morgan Stanley Institute for Sustainable Investing. And the goals of this institution are to take the momentum which we've had here and crystallize it uh, with a broader partnership, doing this uh, here with our partners at Columbia Business School and with the board of directors from around the world who will oversee our efforts. We preside over $1.8 trillion of investors' money in our system. A lot of those investors are saying to us, we want to invest in things that we think are sustainable, that contribute to the well-being of the resources around this planet. We currently have about $2 billion and we're setting a goal of $10 billion of client assets under what we're calling Morgan Stanley's Investing with Impact program in the next five years. So we're going to match investors' desires, which a lot of foundations, not-for-profits, I'm sure school endowments are already doing, but a lot of individual investments' desires to participate in investing in a way that they think is appropriate for the planet that they're inhabiting. The second, as part of doing that, we need to create product. We have a lot of intellectual capital across our institution, and we can create products which are interesting and generate reasonable returns for risk-adjusted return for our investors, and we're doing that with our investment management long-only and alternative investment platforms. The third thing is, with partnership here at Columbia Business School, we're creating a fellowship program, and we're going to select, and we hope it will be three to five students a year, uh, who will do internships with us, working in this space. We will pay for them, provide the jobs, they'll do the internships, and hopefully through that we're contributing in a small way of growing a cadre of leaders for the future who really understand financing on a sustainable basis. And those individuals will work in our banking, they'll work in wealth management, they'll work in our alternative investment programs, they'll work in our capital markets businesses, and they'll work in our trading businesses. And we'll see, and I'd love to see that program develop more as the years go forward, because I truly believe this is where we need to move as an institution. And finally, we, in collaboration with partners, are going to be investing a billion dollars in sustainable community initiatives, where we're going to be working to improve the quality of housing in a lot of communities uh, around this country. And our two partners in this include, and I think they're both here, uh, the Local Initiative Support Corporation and NCB Capital Impact on sustainable community investments. So it's those combination of matching investors with products that are innovative, bringing talent and leadership who understand this space and can contribute to it at Morgan Stanley, and hopefully as they come back to Columbia Business School, and then as they go through their careers, hopefully some of them at Morgan Stanley, and working proactively in our communities and using our muscle in the marketplace where we touch 
you know, three million households in this country. We have 800 locations in this country, and we are managing over $1.8 trillion of individuals' wealth on behalf of um, individuals, foundations, not-for-profits. We think there's a huge market for this, and we're doing it because it's the right thing to do. Um, so with that, I want to uh, thank you for your time. Uh, this is a journey from the crisis that will last uh, many, many years. And if all of us chip away, rather than looking for one big solution, but chip away how to make the system safer and sounder, and at the same time make the banking industry more relevant to what society needs, I think we will have achieved a lot. Thank you for your time.